Club offering. Thank you very much. 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 So can I have everyone stand first for a moment? So who's excited for next week? Please tell the person next to you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, we will have a party here, of course. Uh, hey, so you're allowed to bring food, you're allowed to bring uh, gifts. <laughs> I, I still accept gifts, even though I'm on the way. I do that never, never. Okay, uh, church, I just want to say this. Hey. Never ask my, never put my age here, alright? <laughs> no, don't ask my age. <laughs> it's, a, it's a secret, guys, uh, it's a secret. <laughs> but, right, perhaps some of you were asking, what, for, especially for the first five years, going to attend everybody's birthday. Actually, everybody's birthday was created uh, for the sole purpose of giving thanks to you. And secondly, of course, it's my birthday. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, it's not only my birthday. There are people here who is going to celebrate their birthday on the 8th. And there are people here who is going to celebrate their birthday tomorrow. And... Yes, and... But the very purpose of everybody's birthday is to give Thanksgiving to the world. And no matter what's your birthday, on that day, all of us is going to give it thanks. We're going to celebrate God's goodness in our lives. Are you excited for that? Yeah, so please don't tell the person next to you, do not be here. Alright, do not be here, do not be here. And what's the best way to celebrate a birthday party? That is my surprise. Amen? Yeah. So next week I'll be expecting that we'll be full house. I'll be expecting, okay, we'll be renting the whole the conference room. Okay, so as we stand, let us pray first. Father God, we just want to say thank you. And as we have this uh, message, Lord, uh, it's just another sudden message. <laughs> Lord, it's just another sudden message. You have just confirmed it during praise and worship. And I'm asking Lord God to come and just reveal everything. Perhaps for some of us, it's so busy. But help us, Lord God. Help to build, to, re to reinforce whatever you have taught us from the past. And for the first time, I was going to hear this message. I pray that this will give them clarity of what's your purpose, or what's, what is your plan. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. We give you glory, praise, amen. And we give you a And please, just yes, smash the verse, Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk, alright, Habakkuk 2. So it's very, very familiar. Okay, uh, let's see, okay, so... Okay, okay. it says that then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. Can we read it together? One, two, three, go. Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and Thank you, class. <laughs> I can be the Lord of the Aubrey and the Sister Cloud to stay in my person next to you. So thank you, Jesus. Bye. Okay. Um, this message, actually, this message is not, it's not new. It's not new. About Pluto, I've been preaching about it. We've been studying about it for a very long time. We've been sharing about it for a very long time. And I believe that every one of us here can start to understand English. Is there anyone here who can understand English? Okay. By the way, I just want to clarify that. Uh, I'm not speaking in English because Kylie is here, okay? Next week, we will be celebrating our everybody's birthday, but our lineup will be in Tagalog. Okay? Our present worship will be in Tagalog. There are people saying yes, yes. Okay? So it will be in English and Tagalog. But I just want to say something. Okay, I just want to say something. Uh, I think we possess about giving, right? And teach and talk about giving, and it tells you, what among you is a giver? 
Libra, I got people to see you people who raise their hands. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Hey, I just want to say this. This church is a Libra church. Amen? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Yes. Look the person next to you. Please ask the person, are you a Libra? Are you a Libra? Are you a Libra? Are you a Libra? Okay. Okay. If you understand the art, oh, by the way, I just want to say this. Giving is an art. Okay? Giving is an art. Giving is not just an act of expression so that you can give. No! Giving is something that we do because God loves us. Okay? The blessing is just bonus. And, and I will tell you this. Okay? For the first time, I'm going to tell you this. For the people who don't know this, and we welcome the first timer here. Tagalog po kami normally in English. Okay? Um, I just want to say this. Hey, uh, I just want to honor, I just want to, she's here, so probably this is the only time that we can honor her. And I want to honor Kylie. Can we give him a clap over here? Thank you. Yeah. I want to honor her because I've been telling this to myself. And this is something that I envisioned even before, probably three years or four years ago. Uh, I've been telling them, while we are still in the mezzanine, in the room downstairs, I've been telling them one day, Kylie will be here. Kylie, my, my Australian friend, will be here. And we need to practice our English. We need to have this English worship service. We need to do this. We need to do this. I've been telling them it to them three years ago, and they don't believe me. They don't believe me. They don't want to believe me. How? We already know Kylie. Because of Kylie, we have the projector. Yeah. 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 You probably forgot. Because of you. Because of you. She believes in the church and she gave us, actually she gave us, uh, that was 2015, that was March 2015. Uh, the Lord gave her to support the church to buy a projector. And guess what? This is our projector. And without her, we will not have any projector. So do you thank him for that? Yeah. We thank her for that. Of course, we thank the Lord for that. Not only the projector, I just want to say you. I just also want to say this. We also have the laptop because of her. Yeah. 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 Right? No, I just want to start away to do that. No, I just want, I don't want to embarrass you. <laughs> I just want to honor you. I just want to honor you for these people that you've been a blessing. And she's been a blessing to us. So can you bless her? If you can bless her, pray for her later on. Encourage her. She, she loves that, okay? So... Why not Kylie? 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 Why my friend from Australia is going to visit us. And I've been telling them it since 2014. 2014. And most of the leaders were not taking me seriously. Most of the leaders were not taking me seriously. I've been telling them one day, a friend of mine is going to come here, going to attend our worship service, and we will, we are, while we are still using a very small room, around, uh, it can just be 30 people. So, and I've been telling them, I said, I said, hey, we need to practice our English. So sometimes you're going to practice our English, you're going to pay one peso for the government. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Then, then something happened. But did we, did they, uh, did we, not only they, did we take it very seriously? Not that much. Not that much. But we believe that our church, that, that this church is an international church. But we don't practice our English. We practice our Tagalog. So in other in other country, you cannot speak Tagalog. Are you aware of that? <laughs> okay. you, you, don't, you cannot speak Tagalog in other country. Then something amazing happened last year. Something amazing. Uh, uh, the ones behind you. Uh, you know, the one. Yes. Um, she invited her Japanese friend to come here, okay? She invited her Japanese friend to come here. And guess what, church? Okay, guess what? When things happen that you are not prepared for, 
actually you're going to panic. You're going to panic, you're going to ask, hey, what's happening? And so on and so forth. So, in our surprise, on that day, suddenly, Dr. King entered during person worship with someone, and I said, while well, playing the keyboard, I said, oh, oh no, this is her job spread. <laughs> and, and I'm exhorting, I'm exhorting, I'm screaming in Tagalog in the mic, and I'm saying, Purinat ka Panginoon, so on so forth, Tagalog. Then suddenly, I, I need to speak in English because there's someone uh, from other country who cannot, who cannot have this in Tagalog during that time. So, what happened? We all panic. We all panic. The worship team panic. The worship leader panic. I said, I've been telling the worship leader, hey, speak in English, speak in English. <laughs> during I said worship, but she just keeps, who's the worship leader during the time? Yeah, Ari Ara, she's the worship leader. And she just came then speaking in Tagalog because she thought that Yuka is a Filipino. She thought Yuka is a Filipino. And during that time, for the next eight months, uh, our services, our church services, has been, uh, has been, I've been preaching in Tagalog and in English, right? Right? So sometimes I was preaching. Uh, more Tagalog, sometimes I will preach more in Filipino, sometimes more in English because she needs to understand that I ask her, why did you stay in this church? Well, I'm like, there are so many churches, okay, there are so many churches that I can recommend worship food where from the very beginning up to the end, they are so excellent with their English. And I'm speaking, I don't care what you're going, if you're going to judge me with the grammar, I don't care, okay? I don't care, all right? Um, but, there are people, there is church who's so proficient with their English from the very beginning, praising worship, to the preaching, to the prayer. And I asked her, why you stay here and you didn't go there? She said this, because she loves this church. She loves the people here. And what's the point? What's the point? Vision is something that you see in the future. See, vision is something that you don't see now. How do you see yourself in the future? How do you see yourself five years from now? Oh yes, I will have a family. I will have my house. I will have a normal question for the students. How do you see yourself ten years from now? <laughs> normal question. I will study, right? How do you see yourself 10 years from now? Okay, I'm working. Okay, what kind of work? Are you successful? But how do you see yourself? Okay, 2014, I'm seeing already, I'm seeing us already in Happy Kylie here. And it took us three years for it to become a reality. Right? But before she came here, God sent you a first to prepare us. Because when God gives you a vision, God is going to prepare you. Is that an amen? Amen! My question is this. Do you have a God-given vision? What is vision? Vision I need to be shown. Okay? It's different. Okay? Vision. Okay. Vision is something that you see in the future. Something that you see in the future. That is the very simple definition of vision. Okay. How do you see your family? Five years from now. How do you see your, yourself? Ten years from now. How do you see your job? Your study? Okay. Who among you is graduating? Graduating uh, from senior, uh, junior high to senior high. Can you see the hands? Okay. Who among you see yourself running for honors? Yes. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> running for honors. Okay. Who among you see yourself will become a valedictorian? Will go to the stage and receive a medal? And... Can I see the hands of those who believe? They see themselves excelling, uh, having a very good grade, a very high grade. Just you, okay? Okay, just you. How about the others? Okay, wait. Okay, working, working, the working people. Okay. Do you, sir, do you see yourself being promoted? Yes! I Okay. Do you see And do you, do you see yourself being asked when you when you are promoted? Yes! <laughs> Just one person, okay? Okay. Okay. In other words, it's how you see yourself. It's how you see yourself. Now, Hapong um, Tutu says that the Lord answered to me, write down the vision, make it plain on top that so he may run to reach it. I'm reading from English Standard Version. 
So, so when God gives you a vision, that is going to prepare you. But what do you need to do about it? Okay, for example, our church has a vision. And our church, one of the vision of the church is, uh, it's written here, Raising Up Lovers of Jesus and Revivalists, that's the old one. Vision will give you to read something. Vision will give you a clarity of what you want to happen in your life. Vision will give you a direction. Do you know someone who wants to do a lot of things but cannot accomplish anything? What do I mean? Uh, for example, for me, before I just love preaching. I love to preach there, I love to preach there. <laughs> and whenever I'm going to talk to a pastor, I'm going to tell that person, in my heart, in my heart lang, I'm going to, to pray to God, Lord, please let me, let this pastor invite me to preach here. So I have this experience to preach with 11 people, with 300 people, so since 2005, I've been preaching. And it's my heart. But I never saw myself becoming a pastor. I see myself, I saw myself in a vision as a preacher, I'm preaching the word of God, I'm teaching the word of God, I'm discipling people, but I never saw myself as a pastor. Now, a friend of mine was asking me, the Lord is calling you to become a pastor. The Lord is calling you to lead the church. The Lord is calling you to build the church. But I don't want, I don't want to say yes because I'm saying, the Lord is not calling me that, I don't want that, That's, uh, that will just... Uh, that will make you old. <laughs> it, it will make it is a lot of problem, and that is not for me. Perhaps for you, but not for me. So what happened next? Um, sometimes when God gives you a God-given vision, He's going to use a person to tell you that person to tell you, hey, this is what the Lord is telling you to do. But but I just want to say this: it's very hard to believe. For example, do you believe that your seatmate can sing? Yes. <laughs> do you believe that your seatmate can dance? Yes. How about this? How about this? Do you see yourself here in the front and doing this? Amen. <laughs> who among you? I, who among you have this courage enough? The young people, huh? the young people only, not the leaders. The life group, the disciples. Who among you are brave enough to raise their hands and when I ask you this question? Do you see yourself preaching a year from now? Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> okay. So, so now you believe. What do I mean? I don't want you to be in. This is what I mean. The church is what I mean. Okay. When God gives you a vision, Sometimes it's so hard for us to believe, to accept it as our reality. For example, somebody told me that one day I will be a worship leader. <coughs> that was 2008. That was nine years ago. Somebody, a pastor prayed for me and he saw the word worship leader. And during that time, I don't even know how to play a keyboard. I don't even know how to play a guitar. Because sometimes when God gives you a vision, everything doesn't make sense. Okay? Everything doesn't make sense. What, does, what do I mean? It means somebody told you that you are a leader, but you are timid. You are shy. You are, what do you call this? Uh, you don't, what, you, you are afraid to speak at the front. What among you is afraid to speak at the front? What among you is afraid to record or to speak at the front? But I got us a tamay, I'm not a Okay, I just want to say this. When God gives you a vision, everything doesn't make sense because He wants your faith. He wants your faith. He wants you to believe that you cannot do it alone without Him. For example, who among you? Uh, see yourself five years from now having all these visits. How long you five years from now see yourself working? Working, working. Is yourself working? How about you, students? Okay. Seven years from now. Or ten years from now. Okay. This is my question. 
And I'm trying to simplify the message. Right? This is my question. Do you see yourself working 10 years from now? But the question is, do you see yourself becoming uh, just like Ate Ara? Just like Ate Rufa? Ladies, do you see yourself, or the guys, do you see yourself becoming like Kuya Aljo? Where you? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, for the guys. Alright. Alright. I'm going to illustrate. I'm going to illustrate something. Alright. Just give me some time. Alright. Hey. Uh, hey. Guys, do you see yourself five years from now becoming like him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kuya Aljun is a vision for his life. What? That before this year ends, that we will have these six packs. Okay. Six packs. It's actually end that she will have these uh, abs. Now, now, let me sing this. Let me sing this. Okay. On his own, he can do it, right? Yes. On his own, he can do it. All he needs to do is to discipline himself, to exercise in the morning, to have a diet, and to eat just certain food and avoid certain food. Right? Yes or not? Yes. So, can you call that a god given vision? Of course not. That is not a god given vision. But, but, we are is one of the leaders here. One of the leaders, and he is one of the preachers here. He also preach. But did you see, your, did you saw yourself doing that five years ago? No. If you will see him before, <laughs> Never mind. Okay, you're going to give a clap for you. Okay, now, now I just want to say this. When God gives you a vision, it seems impossible at the start, but doesn't mean that it will be impossible forever. Perhaps now you're not singing, but one day you will. Perhaps now you're not dancing, but one day you will. Perhaps now you're not preaching, but one day you will. Perhaps now you're not seeing yourself as a leader, but one day you will. I never saw myself to become a pastor, but now I've been doing this for four years. Yeah. <laughs> because when God gives you a vision, you need to submit your will to Him. Because His plan is greater than your will. For example, Pastor, what is your original plan for your life? I want to become a journalist. I want to become a journalist. Um, I want to become a reporter. I want to take up mass communication. Did it happen? No. I take up uh, information system. I take up computer. And I don't speak like this. Before high school days, I never saw myself preaching. I never saw myself. I, it's my fear to stand the front. Right? I cannot even express myself in whether in English or whether in the God. Do you know the person that I met, Kylie? I really don't know how I'm going to talk to her. <laughs> That was, uh, she's been my friend actually six years. Six years. And I really don't know how I'm going to speak to her. But is the Lord is, uh, the Lord is putting my life to prepare. The Lord is putting my heart to talk to her and be her friend. And starting that day, I've been practicing my English. <laughs> because I always see her. And sometimes there are times that I don't know if she still understands my English. <laughs> I still remember those times that she doesn't understand what I'm saying anymore. And there are those moments that I don't know what to say to her, so I keep quiet. Okay? But it is the Lord is preparing me for something. He's preparing me, he's been telling me, Mike, one day you're going to speak in other country. One day you're going to go out of your country. You're going to speak here and here, and you need to prepare. Because God in vision, you need preparation. He says that this, uh, let's say that word, preparation. Preparation, preparation. Okay, so you talk to people. Prepare, 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 prepare. Okay, now let's do this. Habakkuk two three. Habakkuk two three. That's next verse. So, do you, are you learning something? Yes. Okay, it's very busy. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. This uh, the same is appointed time. Appointed time. It speaks of the end. It will not prove false. Don't it linger. Wait for it. Can you tell the person next to you? Wait. 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 
Okay, wait, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, church, I just want to say this. The revelation is also a vision. It means when the Lord gives you a vision, it's going to happen. For our church, we have a vision for our church. What is the vision for our church? Then, not that, not that. How do we see our church 10 years from now? Okay, think, okay. Okay. This is how I see our church before this year ends. Before this year ends. These two rooms, this room and that room, is too small for us. So, actually, I'm not preaching to you, just to you. I'm just preaching also to the people there. I'm seeing them right now. Where are they? Where are they? I go. No! I'm seeing it in my heart. It seems like I'm just preaching to how many are we right now? Around 50, 40 plus? Okay. But I've been looking to around 100 people. I've been preaching to 100 people with five services. Why? Because that is my vision. I quit. Uh, one of our vision is that one day we're going to do this service in Kia Theater. But one day, that is the vision of Kia Aljun, but my vision is that one day we're going to do it in Araneta Consiglio. Are you getting excited? Ah? Oh, okay. okay, but the question, this is, my old, this is my normal question. Do you see yourself there? Do you see yourself there? Do you see yourself uh, deserving a seat for your friend because you're so excited we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary and we're going to see you. Because it's hard to be off. I don't think so. It's so hard. It's so impossible. It's so on and so forth. So and so forth. Yes, because with God, when God gives you something, it seems impossible at start. But it says here in Habakkuk 2.3. It's going to happen. He's still the person next to you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So what do you need to do? First, um, prepare. Second, wait. Wait. So how do you prepare and how do you wait? This is how you do it. Okay. When the pastor who prayed for me, okay church, when the person, when the pastor who prayed for me, who told me that one day I see yourself as becoming a worship leader, after he prayed for me, honestly speaking, I asked God how it's going to happen. I don't have any idea. During that time, I, I'm not playing, I don't know how to play any kind of musical instrument, especially mostly singing. Oh, I mostly singing. I will just sing to the Lord in my room and that's it. Three years after receiving that word, I learned how to play the keyboard. Three years after receiving that word, I learned how to play the guitar. Three years. It took me three years for me to learn how to play the keyboard. Then, uh, around 2012, yeah, I remember, around 2012, I was in the church and I've been teaching them uh, about singing songs. I've been telling them, hey, let's let's put a tune on songs, let's put a tone on Let's sing the because actually the book of Psalms is our songs. Right, these are not points, they are songs. They have tunes, they have tones. Yours, you need to sing them. So I told the pastor, hey, a uh, pastor, uh, assign someone to sing the book of Psalms before we start the place of worship. Guess what? Who's the very first person that he put there? And in my amazement, <laughs> I told him, I thought I'm just going to preach. I can preach for one hour. I can preach even for two hours. But I only slap, I only I need to sing it only for five minutes, but that is the longest five minutes in my life. Alright? Uh, have you seen Ate Rupa while, while she's teaching while she's teaching you the beginning? And she is so nervous and she's so what do you call it? Shaking the hands and were shaking. During the time during the time while I'm singing. I, I forgot, I already forgot the song, okay? I already forgot the song, the chapter of the song. While I'm singing, I, during praise and worship, uh, during actual worship service, I turn my back to the church because I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I turn my back, I've been telling this, okay? I've been singing the song. And during the time, I never saw myself, I never saw that moment, 
God is preparing me that one day I will be sitting here. And sometimes I do see some times. <laughs> sometimes. And especially during prayer meeting, I do see. I just prayer meeting. Pastor, what do you see? My own song. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, God. I'm singing for the Lord. Amen? Amen. So that is how you prepare. How do you prepare for a vision? You need to do something. Please tell the person next to you. Do something about it. Do something. Okay, what do you mean, Pastor? Okay, same thing. Sitting down is not doing something. For example, God says to you that one day I'm going to call you to preach internationally. And what do you need to do? You need to study. You, you don't know how to speak in English. Then you need to study how to speak in English. You need to practice how to speak in English. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, pas uh, there are people here. Do you see yourself doing this? Of course, now not. Of course, today you're not seeing yourself doing this, but one day, God, you will preach here. Amen. Because I'm seeing you, you're going to preach here next year. So, what do you need to do? You need to practice in the front of the mirror. You need to talk to yourself. Okay? At church, before I preach here, I rehearse. Before I preach, I practice privately. I talk alone. Okay? I do talk alone. Like I'm preaching. I, it's like a normal preaching. Is, but I'm just talking to the air. I'm just talking with no one. But, but that's how it is. Especially when I said that, oh, Kali will be here. Okay, I need to practice in English now. <laughs> now. I've been doing that since last night. And, and then I'm sorry because the Lord has suddenly changed my topic. <laughs> okay. Okay, then, then, uh, as you prepare, you need to do something. So, what are you going to So, wait, wait, pray. You need to do something, you need to pray. Pray about it. Okay, do you see yourself getting married one day? Okay, and then, okay, yes. okay, see yourself, do you see yourself getting married one day? Yes. Those who see themselves getting married one day, raise your hands. <laughs> So for those people who don't raise their hands, you are forever single blessed. <laughs> okay, I'm asking, okay, I'm asking. This year's question, do you see yourselves? Do you have a vision that one day you will get married? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. <laughs> this is serious question. Okay, do you see yourself? Who among you see yourself be getting married 20 years from now? Okay. But one day, in the future, in the future. Okay, can you, can I see the hands? Can yeah, people? Raise up your hands here. Those people who see themselves. Okay, those people who will not raise their hands, you will not, you will not get married forever. Oh, okay, you will not get married forever. Stop, stop. Okay. 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 Why? Okay, for example. Okay. Okay, okay. I just want to explain the second one. Wait. When you see yourself getting married, that's your vision. That's my vision. That one day I will get married. Okay? And that's your vision also that one day you will get married, right? Okay. So it doesn't mean, okay, let me clarify, church. It doesn't mean that when you see yourself getting married one day, by tomorrow you will find, you will look for a boyfriend or a girlfriend and find someone to marry. Okay? 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 It's, this is the person next to you says, you said that, ah, uh, wait, 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 okay. So, pray. If you see yourself, if you want to be married one day, you need to what? Pray. If pastor, you says, I need to do something about it, so I'm going to look for a partner. No, okay. No. You need to prepare your character. You need to prepare your heart. You need to prepare your back account. Right? Yes. Pastor, do you see yourself getting married one day? Or if you say if you're saying yes, of course you need to prepare your money, you need to prepare your savings. Tama pa, amen ba? Okay, kung hindi ka kaya pakipunan, huwag mo pakasalan. Why? Amen ba? That's why you need to pray. Pray for what? Okay, wait, wait, church, church, okay. Pray for what? Pray for the right person. 
praying for the right time. And sometimes, uh, guys, sometimes it will take you 20 years before you find one. Uh, it will take some time and some. I, I, no, 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 guys, ladies, 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 you don't need to rush. Because sometimes you, it will take 20 years before you find the right one. Why, why? Why? Hey, I know people, and, and what is what? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Kylie and I have a friend who's, uh, the, the, their, her husband is much, much younger. And I do know someone, a Filipino, that they are, they urge their, their age gap is around 15 years to 20 years. So you don't need to rush, okay? You don't need to rush, okay? Okay? Amen ba? Amen ba? Amen! Okay? So there's other people, do not rush, okay? Do not rush. Wait! 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 Okay. And the same thing, okay? I'm just for example, okay. Hey, Pastor, uh, God is calling me now. I feel in my heart that God is calling me to become a pastor. God is calling me to become this, and I want to do this, and I want to do this. And, and actually, we have a member here before that he wants to preach. He is being invited to preach to other church. And I said, he asked me for permission, and I, and I said, no. And I said, no. Why? And there are people here right now with us that his desire is to become a worship leader. Before, his desire to become a worship leader. And the first time that he joined the worship team, every time that I'm not going, every time that I'm not going to assign him to sing, his face is he's having a mood swing. He's having a mood swing. And I said, no, it's not the right time for you to send the fraud to serve the Lord. Why? Because of pride. Because they are after the spotlight. It doesn't mean that when, when the Lord gives it, uh, put it in your heart, it doesn't mean that you need to do it immediately. Okay? You need to wait. For example, when I came to know the Lord in 2004, He already put in my heart that I want to become a full-timer. Full-timer is a person who serves God without any salary, without a proper word, and you will just provide your studies, share the gospel, and preach. That was 2004. And I asked my leader for about it, and I told, I told my leader about it, and I said, Hey, this is my confirmation. I have a lot of confirmation. I have 20 biblical confirmations that God is calling me to become a full-time, in the full-time ministry. Tulaan niyo. Guess what? What the leader, what the leader told me? He told me no. He told me it's not yet the right time. But one day, you will. And it took me more than 10 years for it to happen. So this is the person next to you. Wait. Okay, let's, let's say something positive. Okay, I just said three points actually. Let's say something positive. Or something, I mean, something good. When the Lord um, gives you a promise, okay, it says in Habakkuk 2 4, again, I put it. For still the vision awaits its appointed time, it hastens the end, it will not lie. It seems, it seem, if it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. One of the vision is God's promises. God's promises is vision for your life. Okay, who among you have a promise from the Lord? Hope of you have a promise from God, honestly, that you receive this promise from the Lord. That the Lord, you really receive that it says, whenever somebody pray for you and give you a prophetic word, it says that one time seeing you, one day you will do this, you will do this, you will have this, you will have this, and so on and so forth, right? Okay. One of the promises of God for this church is that He will raise up billionaires in this church. Are you one of those billionaires? Yes! yes. Okay, millionaires. One of the promise of the Lord for you is that one day your whole family will come to know Jesus. Yes! My question is this. Do you believe that? Yes! Because when God gives a promise, it's going to happen. Okay, please tell the person next to you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. 
Okay? So it seems slow. It seems slow. It's, see, sometimes it seems it's taking forever. For example, the Lord gave us a promise that He says that um, four years ago when the church is still starting, He says that, hey, one day you will have your own place. One month passed, Lord, where's the place? Two months, three months, four months, we don't have our own place. And right now, look, if, if you're going to look outside, it seems that it's going to rain. Before, before we are having a service, then it's going to rain. Okay? While I'm preaching, then it's raining, then you're going to start questioning the Lord. Lord, where's your promise? Where's your promise? But 13 months after that, this building came. So it, see, it means it seems slow, it took 13 months, but it's going to come to pass. It's going to happen. Amen, Amen. Amen. Okay. When God gives you a vision, you just need to wait, you just need to pray for it. Okay, another example. By the way, whenever I give an example, it's not only because I want you to be amazed, because the Lord is going to do the same thing in your life. Um, my father, for example, my father. Okay, the Lord gave me a vision that one day I will see him again. I didn't so I didn't see him for twenty years, for more than twenty years. And the Lord gave me put in my heart to start believing that one day I will see him physically alive, that I can embrace him. And I don't even I don't have any idea where he is. I don't have any idea, I don't have any way to contact him. But did it happen? Yes. It did happen. It did happen. I saw him. It's still, the proof is in the Facebook. We will see our picture together. Because when God when God tells you something, a promise, when God gives you a vision, it's going to happen. But it seems impossible at start, but it is going to happen. Amen. So have faith. And the third point is have faith. Have faith. Okay. Who among you understand the word faith? I like this. Who among you understand the word faith? By the way, we're starting the this is a series, uh, this is a series. This is a series about vision. It's just an introduction. Okay. Who among you have faith? Do you uh, no, uh, let me par let me paraphrase my question. Who among you understand what faith is? Do you really understand what faith is? Okay, this, do you have do you have faith that the person next to you have brains? Yeah. <laughs> How are you sure? How are you sure? <laughs> okay. Do you believe that the person next to you have brain cells? How are you sure? <laughs> Because I saw it in the drawing. What if the what if the drawing is only an imagination of someone? Do you believe that brain is like that? Like a like a cloud? <laughs> like a cloud. Okay. Now, now, how can you assure me that the person next to you have a brain? <laughs> so the only way. Okay. 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 Guys, guys, the only way for you to check it is what? You break, you break the head. <laughs> you break or break the head. Okay. There's no other way for someone to check it, right? Right. But do you have faith that the person next to you have brains? Yes. Do you have faith that the person next sitting next to you have a heart? No. <laughs> I think physically, yeah, physically, yeah. Okay. Of course, of course, they yeah. have. Okay. It means faith is believing into something even though without you see it. That's faith. Faith is believing into something and, and your belief is so, you are really believing about it that you, you are willing to break open the head of your, of your seat mate just to prove that that person has a brain. Okay. That is faith. Faith is the assurance of things you are hoping for. It's the substance of things you are hoping for. It means that you are really believing with all your heart. You are really believing with everything you got. Now, let's apply it in our own life. Okay, let's apply it in our own life. 
let's be a practical. Okay, let's let's uh, let's learn something that we can apply into our own lives. Okay, who of you have faith that you're going to wake up early tomorrow? Okay, okay, it's from the Holy Spirit right now. Okay, okay. I believe it's from the Holy Spirit. Who among you have faith that you will still wake up tomorrow? Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So those people who raise their hands again, they can only want to be busy about the past. So do you have faith that you will wake up tomorrow? Yes! How about the other day? Yes! How about the next day? Yes! How about on December? Yes! Yes, yes. that's faith. Pastor, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure probably this is going to return today. <laughs> no, no. So there's faith, it means even though you're not you're not sure what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day, you still have faith that you're going to wake up and you're going to do your normal routine, you're going to work, you're going to school, and that's it. Right? That is faith. Faith is you are very, very you're you're very sure that good things is going to happen. 